All right, Sandra, let's bring in Louisiana Republican Congressman Mike Johnson. He also serves in the House Judiciary Committee. So as you heard Bill Malugin saying, we've got the Energy Department, the FBI, the Senate report uh, from Senator Roger Marshall, and now the uh, former Director of National Intelligence saying all signs point to the lab. At this point, do you have any doubt that's where COVID came from? We, we can't have any doubt, and I think this fear and intimidation and misinformation tactic that, that China, the Chinese Communist Party, is engaging in is very telling. I completely agree with, with my good friends Roger Marshall and Brad Winstrup and, and, of course, John Ratcliffe. This is a matter of common sense. We have declassified intel that, that points to this. We have the scientific evidence. And we all just know intuitively that this happened. Look, we've known for more than two years, it was our own State Department in January 2021 mm -hmm. that gave us these three key pieces of intel. Number one, we know they were doing gain of function research at low safety levels. We know they were cooperating with the Chinese military since at least 2017 at the Wuhan lab. And, and we also know that some of their researchers were exhibiting COVID-like symptoms as early as the fall of 2019. So there really is no other conclusion that you can draw here. So the Chinese uh, are whining about the hearing that was taking place today, saying in a statement, quote, partially, I am reaching out to express, this is Li Xiang, who is the Chinese embassy counselor on Friday. I'm reaching out to express our grave concern regarding the COVID-19 origins hearing. We firmly oppose it. We call on the U.S. side to respect science and facts and refrain from targeting China. Congressman, what do you say to the Chinese? Yeah, we say to the Chinese enough already. Of course, they're they're concerned about this because they've been engaging in outright propaganda. They have hidden data, hidden key facts that the international community needed. They've even blamed other countries for their failures, including the U.S. The problem here is that they do not fear retaliation by the U.S. They're taking advantage of the weak Biden administration. They see him as a ally or a partner in some in some ways and in some ways they, they think they can take complete advantage of him and that's what we're seeing over and over and especially with regard to the lab leak theory so senator marshall uh, acknowledges that critical data points are missing here that would be in effect a smoking gun that this came from wuhan but the senate report does say that the chinese apparently began work on a vaccine in november of 2019 which is at least a couple of months before the rest of the world heard about covid uh, do you need a smoking gun here? No, we don't. I mean, it, at some point, all the, the points lead to the same conclusion, and anybody who's looking at the facts objectively has to declare that. You know, it's interesting, too, that many Americans and many of us in Congress and leaders across the board, even in the intel community, were pointing to this conclusion a long time ago. And we were, you know, dismissed and in, in the mainstream media and even in the, the scientific community. Dr. Fauci and his narrative went the other way. So they censored and silenced the people who were bringing this up a long time ago. They, they labeled us conspiracy. Conspiracy theorist and all the rest. Now we know that the facts are proven what we all sort of knew yeah. intuitively. And I, I think that, that the conclusion is inescapable now. Yeah, just to close out here, we should remind people, we'll put this up on the screen. So far, 1,128,404 U.S. Uh, citizens have died from COVID. Real quick, if you could, Congressman, does China need to be held accountable for those deaths? They do, because this has the potential, of course, to be obviously one of the greatest medical disasters in world history, but also one of the greatest cover-ups and scandals. And that is a big headline and something that we all need to uh, keep, keep front of mind here. Congressman Mike Johnson, good to talk to you. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.